Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Shri Sharad. I'm a cosmetic dermatologist and I've been practicing for the last 15 years. I'm your skin expert for today. We shall be discussing about skin types today. So there are essentially five skin types, the normal skin type, the oily skin type, the dry skin type, the combination skin type, and the sensitive skin type. Now normal skin type would be where there are absolutely no blemishes, the skin is flawless, it's really radiant, and you know, there are no pores and no fine lines, etc. An oily skin type is very easy to make out. It's oily and greasy skin. The pores would be more dilated. There could be more blackheads and whiteheads. The skin is more acne prone. So the dry skin type is where the skin looks dull, it looks dehydrated, there are hardly any pores visible. You may find a few scales, a few dry flakes here and there. There may be red blotches on the skin. And but there are a lot of fine lines when you see a dry skin type. A combination skin is where you have an oily T-zone. You know, the pores may be dilated on the nose and on the forehead. And you may also have more blackheads or whiteheads in this zone. And the rest of your skin is pretty much normal. That's the combination variety. And then the last type is the sensitive skin type. Now this skin type is very, very prone to all kinds of allergies and rashes. And you easily see, you know, uh, red patches on the face. It will be more of the dry skin type. It reacts very easily to different kinds of environmental conditions. So that's the sk sensitive skin type. So you must remember that your skin type may not remain the same all throughout your life. I mean, you may have an oily skin type when you're young and as you age it may get drier. Uh, there are also other external factors like, you know, um, excessive uh, sun exposure, uh, exposure to air conditioners which will make your skin more dry, use of certain uh, cosmetics and products, hormonal changes, certain soaps that you use, all these will change your skin type. Another important thing is that your, your face skin may not necessarily be the same as the skin of your body. So you may have an oily skin on the face, but your body may be extremely, extremely dry. So you may have to use two different kind of products on the body and the face. So that's very important to remember. For more queries, you can leave your comments here. You can subscribe to us, to our network. And you can follow me on Twitter.